Today, hundreds of teenage girls visited Y-12 to explore careers in STEM. That annual event is an effort to teach middle and high schoolers the possibilities in the workforce. As our reporter Katie Emmett explains, the seeds planted there help grow more women in engineering careers. In this group of 500 girls, you are strong, my friend. <laughs> Leela Fine sees herself in every single one. I've loved science ever since I was really little. That's apparent in the experiments she's showing off. It starts to solidify. Her day job is what she once only dreamed of doing. I really figured out that I wanted to be a chemical engineer when I was in high school. I actually came to introduce a girl to engineering day here at Y12. Now she's at that same event six years later, but this time it's really surreal as I a mean, Y12 employee. I was on the other end of the table. I didn't know what I wanted to do and now I'm here and I'm doing science and it's really cool. That's the whole goal of Y12's introduce a girl to engineering event. It is uh, an opportunity for them to see the world of opportunity that is there sparking an interest and watching it grow. They open their possibility to a career in STEM. Whether it's creating a marshmallow cannon or building a Lego bridge, with every activity, these teens are able to experiment and explore their future. It takes a lot of intelligence and effort to do this and it, um, just to make things work and use their purpose. Blount County 8th grader Shelby Martson gets it. And I know that I'll be able to pursue it. Adding more women in a field filled with mostly men is an ever-present effort and one Y-12 knows will pay off. We want them to finish school and, and come back. From sitting in a classroom. Everything functions. To working in a lab. I didn't really see many women in science when I was growing up and it would be so cool if someone looked at a woman in a STEM field and was like, oh, she's like me, I can do this. In Oak Ridge. So it's pretty cool. I'm Katie Inman. I'm feeling good about our future. That event today is part of a week-long celebration of engineers. Y12 says this year's field trip was the biggest yet and the first one back in person since the pandemic.